On September 12, 2023, Denmark committed to providing its largest financial contribution to Ukraine since Russia's invasion in February 2022. The Danish aid package amounts to a total of 5.8 billion kroner, or 7.78 billion euros, with expenditures distributed as follows, 4.3 billion kroner in 2023, 1.4 billion kroner in 2024, and 52 million kroner in 2025. The 12th aid package, known as Donation Package 12, is funded by the Ukraine Fund and collaborates with international partners to provide a range of sought-after capabilities to bolster Ukraine's military defense. This includes tanks, infantry fighting vehicles, tank ammunition, and anti-aircraft weapons. Denmark has shown significant commitment to Ukraine. In August 2023, the country pledged to provide 19F-16 fighting Falcon fighter jets. In terms of coastal defense, Denmark has already supplied four AGM-84 Harpoon anti-ship missile systems in June 2022. The country has also taken steps to strengthen Ukrainian artillery, with the delivery of 19 Caesar 8x8 self-propelled howitzers in April 2023 and 16 more SHKH Susanna 2 howitzers to be delivered in cooperation with Germany and Norway. As for armored vehicles, Denmark plans to deliver 40 Leopard 1A5 DK tanks in 2023, in collaboration with Germany. Additional Leopard tanks will be delivered in 2024, including 7 Leopard 2A4S, in cooperation with the Netherlands. Regarding armored personnel carriers, 54 M113G3 DK slash G4 DKs were delivered in July and August 2022, after being overhauled with German funding. Denmark has also provided a range of engineering equipment, including bridge layers and armored recovery vehicles, as well as mine clearing equipment. In terms of air defense, 407 Stinger missiles were delivered in 2022, accompanied by launch devices and batteries. The country has also supplied anti-drone radars and a large quantity of anti-tank weapons, including 2,700 M72 LAW rocket launchers and 8,000 RPG-7 rocket launchers. In summary, Denmark's military aid to Ukraine is extensive and diverse, ranging from fighter jets and missile systems to a variety of armored vehicles and engineering equipment. This aid is often provided in collaboration with other European countries. With today's aid package, we are entering a new phase. After more than a year and a half of war, we have nearly depleted our military stockpiles. We are now focusing on more targeted joint purchases and international collaborations that are tailored to meet Ukraine's immediate needs, says Foreign Minister Lars Luger Rasmussen.